Hi everyone, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Swift Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to take a closer look at OneDrive from the Office 365 suite. The first thing you need to do, of course, is log into your Office 365 account. When you do that, you will see this screen here. You want to click on this tile for your OneDrive account, which will open up a new tab uh, and it will look like this. This is what you could call the hub screen for OneDrive in Office 365. In the main part of the screen, you'll have any folders and files stored in your OneDrive account. Surrounding that are a range of menus, and we're going to take a closer look now at what those menus do. So starting in the top left-hand corner, the app tile icon. Uh, if you click on that, you can very, very quickly jump between the different apps in OneDrive. This is a really quick and easy way to move between the apps, and I'd very much recommend doing that rather than going back to the OneDrive home screen and then selecting the app from there. Next to the tile icon is the Office 365 logo. If you click on the 365 logo, it will simply take you back to this screen, which is your Office 365 home screen, and allows you to access recent documents from uh, any app within Office 365, as well as access the apps themselves. Um, next to that, you have the OneDrive logo. So if you are two or three subfolders deep and you want to very quickly get back to the OneDrive home screen, clicking on that will bring you back to this starting screen here. Let's look at the left hand menu bar. There's a really handy search bar just here which will allow you to search for uh, contributors, for file names, for folder names, um, and it's a very, very useful function. Underneath that is your name, so it tells you that you're in your OneDrive. You can click on the files uh, logo, it will take you to this screen here. The recent, let me just clarify that, the files um, tab is all of your folders and files. The recent uh, tab is any file that you've accessed recently within Office 365. The shared with me tab is quite simply anything that's been shared with you um, by other people and you'll be able to see that fairly easily. Uh, it will tell you who it was modified by and when it was last modified. The discover icon is actually a function of Delve. So if your account doesn't have access to Delve on your 1365 home screen, you won't see the discover icon in the OneDrive. What this does is that it gives you visibility or allows you to see other documents that might be relevant to you. So for example, if you have a document in your OneDrive called, uh, let's say, Stage 3 Science Unit 1, and a colleague has been working on Stage 3 Science Unit 2, it would probably appear in here as being relevant to you. Now the important thing to note here is that uh, OneDrive does not change your privacy settings. You will only see documents in the Discover section that you would have access to anyway under the sharing permissions. So if you set the privacy settings for a particular document to uh, only you, or only you and a particular colleague, then only you, or only you and that particular colleague will be able to see the document. Privacy settings do not change. This screen will only show you those documents to which you have permissions to either view or edit anyway. Again, if you don't have Delve, then you won't see the Discover icon, and it won't be particularly relevant. And the Recycle Bin is fairly straightforward, I think, is where you delete things into. That's the left-hand menu bar. Let's go back to our main screen. Over on the right-hand side, the top right-hand corner, we've got a uh, a bell logo, that's quite simply any notification. So that might be notifications that someone has shared something to you, that a document you've been working on has been modified, if you've got those notifications set up. There might be some updates, anything that you might need to be notified about uh, will pop up in there. To the right of that is a gear wheel. This, as is typical in most applications these days, is your settings. You can do a search in your settings, you can do site settings, change the theme, um, set the starting page. You might want to start on a particular page within OneDrive, within the Office 365, change your password. There's a whole range of settings in there. The question mark next to that is, as is again quite standard, the help function. Uh, that's fairly straightforward. And next to that will be your name and with a little drop down arrow. This will have a range of settings about you and your account. It will show uh, you the email address that's attached to the account that you are using. About me, which is a bit like your profile page. You can view your account. This is also where you can change your password, upload a photo, 
profile photo and it also has the option to sign out and go back to the sign in page. Uh, so that's the top set of menus. Underneath that we have this menu bar here, this grey menu bar. On the left we've got a plus sign, new and then a drop down arrow. If we click on that we quite simply can start a brand new document of any of these types of documents within whichever folder we are inside in our OneDrive at the time. So at the moment I'm just I'm in the home directory for my OneDrive but if I was two or three subfolders deep whichever folder I was in when I selected a new document that is where that document would automatically be created. So you do need to make sure when you create a new document are in the folder you want to be in. Upload, again, that's where we can upload things. You can either upload an individual file, or if you want, you can upload an entire folder. This is particularly useful if you are transferring uh, a range of resources, for example, from a network drive into your OneDrive account. You can simply upload the entire folder. I would, of course, make sure, uh, recommend that you go through and double check that you're not uploading duplicates, that you're not uploading uh, excessively old resources or out of date resources, paperwork that you don't need to worry about that you can delete, um, but you can absolutely upload a, an entire folder. The sync button, this is where if you have OneDrive installed on your computer, you can. there is a OneDrive app you can install on your computer, you can sync your OneDrive cloud account to your OneDrive computer account. This is particularly good if you are potentially uh, working on a laptop and you're going into a no Wi-Fi or no internet access zone such as a flight. Um, you can sync your OneDrive to your laptop, have all of your information there and be able to access your documents while you are without Wi-Fi. Make changes when you return to Wi-Fi, hit sync and all of your changes will be synced. Um, this is quite simply how you sort the folders and the files, that's fairly straightforward. This little grid icon over here lets you change between list view, which is what I'm currently in, and tile view. I personally prefer list view, but I do know people who prefer tile view, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's up to you, but that's what that icon does. Next to that is a little eye, which surprisingly is an information button. It tells you what's happening. If I click on a particular file, it gives me some information about that file. Down the bottom left-hand corner, you can see a couple of links to get the OneDrive apps. That's to install them onto your computer. Uh, you can also return to the classic OneDrive. It's an older version, looking, older looking version of OneDrive. Uh, but I would very much recommend that you stay with what you've got at the moment, uh, as that will be the standard move moving forward. That's all the time we have for in this video. For more helpful videos like this, please check out c21teaching.com.au, this FTPL videos link up here. Um, drop me a link, uh, drop me a comment in the comments below, or contact me on Twitter at c21 underscore teaching. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.